Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Charles. I want to welcome you guys to another episode of the Dreamers Pro Show, where we cover everything from sports, hot topics, classic debates, entertainment, where we give you guys a fresh perspective on things and how we see them. And in today's episode, the topic is, is Kawhi Leonard proven he is the key to the success or key to the Clippers' success. So that's the topic I'm going to get into in today's video. But before we get into that, I want you guys to please make sure you go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and hit the notification bell to be notified whenever we drop our content. Also, we have our Dreamers Pro Premium Community, Dreamers Pro Max. It's an online sports community. It's a place where you go, star basketball debates, chat live during games, go live with us after games to get you know to uh, so we can share uh, share share thoughts and, and take each other's questions. Also, it's a place where you, where you consume original content that you're going to be get that you're not going to be be able to get anywhere else and do so many other cool things so if you guys are interested in that be sure to check it out we have a link in the description below it's called dreamers pro max and get seven days of free access i'm sure you guys are going to enjoy it especially with the season ramping up now so let me get back into this topic here so we have a lot of things that we want to cover today on the channel we have a lot of videos so just stay tuned and be checking uh check the channel periodically because we have a lot of stuff coming out today so the clippers have been going through uh some turbulent times as of uh, as of recent They've won four out of their last uh, ten, four out of their last ten games, so they haven't been playing very well. Um, you know, two nights ago they just came off a very a very very embarrassing loss to the uh, New Orleans Pelicans, a loss that you know was was really inexcusable, was really inexcusable given the fact how they played the the, the game prior. But they went out there and they just pretty much wet the bed. And Ka Kawhi Leonard and Tyron Lue called the team out after the game. Kawhi came out and said we produced a video on this yesterday saying that he was very concerned with the with the with the level of inconsistency that he saw in the team. And Tyron Lue was just cursing during the post game interview. He was he was just there cursing. You could tell that he was pretty pretty heated. And Clipper fans were were pretty pissed off. And I said at the time I said, "Listen, if nothing changes on this team, this guy is going to walk, right? Because I mean, this would be two years in a row. Like the, the game during the Pelicans, he looked like he was the only guy the number one showed up for the game, and number two knew what the hell was going on. Everybody else just looked lost uh, 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 during that game. But last night, they were able to bounce back against the Dallas Mavericks. Now, let me be honest with you guys. Going into that game, I didn't think the Clippers would win, were going to win that game, to be quite honest with you, because I thought that Kristaps Porzingis presents a very bad matchup for this team. Uh, last year, you saw them in the Orlando bubble when he was playing that when he was playing, he was pretty much unguardable. And to be quite honest with you, last night, he was pretty much on guard. He was hitting shots. You say to yourself, like, did this guy just really, you know, uh, you know, um, uh, uh, hit hit a crossover off the dribble, pull up and shoot from like the mid range at us as, 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 as a seven footer pulling up from pretty much half court from the logo? I mean, hitting bank shots over dudes heads. Chris Asporzing is, is extremely, extremely, extremely uh, skilled for his size. And, you know. There's nobody on the Clippers that can guard him. You saw they try to put Kawhi. Kawhi tried to front him a few times and others. But once he catches the ball in his spot, spot and he shoots, he, he gets ready to shoot. At seven feet tall, there's nothing you can do with him. So I, I was kind of worried to say, okay, how is this team going to be able to match up with this guy? Number two, the, the other reason I thought they were going to lose was given the fact of how inconsistent they've been and how bad Paul George has looked uh, over the last few games. Because let's just, let's just be honest. Although they won that game last night, they won that game in spite of Paul George. Paul George had a terrible shooting night. He had a terrible shooting night, and he's regressed um, over the last two games. And um, although he hit a big shot at the end of the game, at the at the end with 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 the shot clock expiring, he hit that three. I think they put them up eleven or so. Um, again, uh, that was a bad possession. That was a bad possession. It was a poorly executed uh, possession because they missed a wide open Kawhi Leonard under the basket. Up until that point, the Clippers have been running their offense through Kawhi Leonard, especially in the last, let's say, three to four minutes of the game. And they were getting some things out of that. Either he was scoring or he was hitting, hit, hitting open man or he would go to the free throw line and make a shot. So, yes, although Paul George hit that big shot, but overall he had a poor game. He only had 15 points uh, in the game. He was playing defense, but he had a lot of bad turnovers um 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 in that game and they won the game and i think that had a that, that was by, by large in part had a large part to do with the fact that Kawhi leonard just pretty much willed that team to another win now granted other players played well like marcus moore senior and others stepped up i think i had the box score of that game uh yesterday 
I'm just looking to look at the other players. Uh, Marcus Moore Sr. chipped in 14 points, 4 assists, and 6 rebounds. He started the game. You saw Tyron Lou decided to go with a different look and bring Mark and start the game with Marcus Moore's and put Nicholas Batum on the bench to be a better uh, playmaker. But just also remember that he staggers Kawhi Leonard and Paul George. So Paul George is usually on that second unit, but he probably wants to give that second unit more playmaking. And given the fact that Serge Ibaka was out, so he had to kind of he had to kind of um, um, kind of mix things up. If Vita Zubak was huge, he had a double double with 15 points and 11 rebounds. He was huge and he played 35 minutes, so he really stepped up in a major way for the Clippers. As I said, Paul George was very inconsistent. Reggie Jackson was there. He had 12 points. Nicholas Batum. Uh, let's talk about Nicholas Batum for a second. Nicholas Batum. Uh, finally started hitting shots. Nicholas Batum has been off for the last few games or for the last five or six games. He hasn't been as hot as he was during the reg uh, during the earlier in the, in, in the season, in the first two months or so. He was pretty much automatic from the three-point line. Uh, then he would come up and hit some pretty big shots. And let's be honest, some games that they lost, some close games that they lost, given the fact that Kawhi played poor down the stretch. But look, at Nicholas Batum missed a lot of bunnies, a lot of open threes that he normally was making early in the season. He just wasn't knocking them down. But last night, he was able to knock down some threes, which really helped them. And Lou Williams came off the bench and got them 14, uh, 14 points in that game. But let's just be honest. Uh, the difference in that game was Kawhi Leonard. There's just no two ways to slice it. Uh, Kawhi played back-to-back, -back, first of all. He played back-to-back -back after that horrendous loss that they had against the New Orleans Pelicans. He, came, he followed it up the next game and played 40 minutes. The guy played 40 minutes yesterday. He had 22 points. What what did he have? 22.7 7 assists, 8 rebounds, and 4 steals. He was everywhere especially on the defensive side of the floor. He was playing defense. I think he was their best defender on the floor, uh, the best defender for the Clippers last night. You saw him front in the post, as I mentioned before, against Chris Saspor He was getting in the passing lanes. That's how he was able to get four steals. And his activity on the defensive end, he was attacking, going downhill. And I like the fact that he was really, really playing you know, defensive player to year of level type of defense. And funny enough, some people say that he doesn't play defense like Shannon Sharp and others, but he was the best defender on the floor. He was also getting a lot of offensive rebounds. And you could tell that he really wanted to win that game, right? You could tell he really wanted to win that game. He said at the end of the game, he was tired, but he was just pushing through. He had to win the game. And listen, let's be honest. Kawhi Leonard has been criticized over the past three seasons for not playing um for not playing back to backs and taking nights off over the last 3 seasons that's been one of the main criticisms of uh, criticisms of him but the guy's been stepping up He's played every single game in front of him this year. The only game that he's missed was, was either due to the COVID protocol or just injuries. Other than that, the guy's been available every single night uh for this team and I think that Kawhi Leonard is the I, I think the Clippers go will only go as far as Kawhi Leonard uh, takes him this season. He's the only one in that roster that I trust. Him and Serge Ibaka. Let me just say that. Because these are the only two guys that have shown me that they can win at the highest level and are really, really battle-tested. Paul George, as I said a day or two ago, earlier earlier, earlier in his career, he had some great playoff runs, but over the last three seasons, it, it's just been he's had some very uh, forgettable playoff runs. And Kawhi Leonard is the only guy that I trust. These other guys will have to show me. Right. But I think he's going to have to be the one to take him there. And that's already kind of crazy to think about, given the fact of how low to the Western Conference is. You're going to put everything on one player and Kawhi Leonard to really take them to the promised land. But I guess it's kind of similar to the situation that you have going on with the Los Angeles Lakers, where LeBron is the one now really carrying a team. Although the reason that is, is because Anthony Davis is out and, and, and players have been in and out of the lineup. But for me, I think he's the only guy that I trust. I think he's the key to the success of the team. And I think the other guys got to prove it to me. And I don't trust anyone else on that roster to be able to get it done except Kawhi Leonard because he's the only one that's been getting it done for this team. And uh, if it turns out in a situation where we get into a situation where we get into the playoffs and it's pretty much more what you had last season when it was just really just him out there and guys were, you know, uh, pulling Houdinis and just disappearing all over the place, then uh, then uh, it's going to be a long playoff run. But I think um, at this point, he's the key to success. He he's the key to, to the success of this team. And you saw last night they won that game in spite of Paul George. Paul George really needs to get his act together, uh, to be quite honest with you. He really needs to get his act together. So. What I want to know from you guys is, do you think Kawhi Leonard is the key to the Clippers success this season? Whatever you guys think, please leave your thoughts and comments in the comment section below. Again, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to make sure you go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell to be notified whenever we drop our content. Once again, this is Charles here from Dreamers Pro. Wishing you guys an amazing day and catch you guys on the next episode.